coming to you from Studio A at Scottsdale Community College. I'm Ashley Neville and it's time to go Inside Maricopa Sports. On this edition of Inside Maricopa Sports, we find out how a basketball player at South Mountain plans on reaching new heights. We head to Chrisman Elementary School where MCC football players stress the importance of an education to young kids. And then David Grant joins Kevin Hoffnagel on Coach's Corner. But first, just a point shy of reaching the national tournament a year ago, the Puma women's tennis team is gearing up for the 2017 season behind sophomore Erica Walford. Drew Waffey has the story. Last year, the Paradise Valley Community College women's tennis team had a great season, missing a bit of going to the national tournament by just one point. We hope to build on that success as they begin preparing for the 2017 season. Leading the way this year will be Erica Walford, Sophomore plays both singles and doubles for the Pumas. Even though practice has just started, Walford feels like this could be a good year for her and the team. As far as the season goes, um, it really depends on how we do in practice, and I know we're going to push really hard, and what we do in practice is going to relay in what we do in our games, but um, I think this year is going to be really good. Entering his fourth season at the helm of PVCC will be head coach Farrows Rast. Rass says the Pumas play in a tough conference with major competition from Mesa Community College and Pima Community College. Last year's season has proven to be a great motivator for this year's squad. We have that mindset. What will get us to the national tournament? What kind of effort, what kind of attitude we need to have? So each day is in preparation to make it to that one goal, which is to make it to the national tournament. The Puma players are anxious to get the season underway, having been at the championship doorstep last year. This is what we missed it by this year. I think we're even better. And that if it was so close last year, this year is going to be our year. Coach Rast, who played at PBCC in 2007 through 2009, was an academic All-American in his day and also a national quarterfinalist. He has seen firsthand the development of Walford's game and is expecting big things out of her for this season. She's a leader in every sense of that word. Uh, she plays the game the right way, she's consistent. Uh, her game is not flashy by any means, but she gets to every ball, she works hard, she's improving daily. <laughs> As with any sport at the junior college level, making time for practice, matches and studying is a juggling act even for the best students. But for the always composed Walford, she's got that part of her life pretty much handled. A great support system of her parents, teammates, and Coach Rast, who's always there to lend that helping hand. Any problem or issue or just kind of uh, struggle we're going through, we can always come and talk to him. He's really open about just helping us out and giving us tips. The PVCC women's tennis team has their focus set on reaching the national tournament this year. I'm Drew Wathi for Inside Maricopa Sports. Our next story comes from South Mountain. Point guard Desmond Johnson is reaching new heights despite his size. Find out about his new role and how he plans to improve his game. Desmond Johnson is not your typical point guard. I love to rebound, so I'll always go in and get rebounds no matter what. He's probably one of our best rebounders, and he's 5'10". Johnson, who is from Anchorage, Alaska, does a little bit of everything. I'm a pass first kind of guy. I love seeing my teammates happy, getting the bucket. So I always just look for my teammates, set screens, just do the little things. Last year, Johnson put up a very rare quadruple double with 13 points, 10 rebounds, 10 assists, and 10 steals in the Region 1 Division 2 semifinal game against Pima. It just goes to show you that he just tries to do everything on the court. He, he's not a selfish player at all. He just tries to do whatever he has to do to win. Johnson led his team to victory in the Region 1 Division 2 championship game against the top-seeded Phoenix College Bears. His efforts helped lead the team to the national tournament. To me, it was fun. I, I loved it. Um, great experience. I love being there with the team. The Cougars finished the national tournament in eighth place out of 16 teams. Johnson won the Small Man Award at the tournament. It means I was working hard, doing the little things, getting rebounds getting my teammates shots, open shots, mm -hmm. and uh, just doing what coach says. Johnson's brother joined the team this year and knows all about his competitive edge. I feel like uh, him being undersized kind of pushes him to, you know, continue to work out and get better. Johnson says his toughness comes from his uncle, a military veteran who was relentless in everything he did. He's always pushed me to be the basketball player I am now, put me in the gym, working out with me. Now, Johnson is going to be the one having to push his teammates as he takes on an even bigger leadership role this season. I think he knew it, and he was kind of embracing it. And more than anything, I was telling him that not only is he going to lead by example, but more than anything, people are going to monitor him, um, and he's going to be the standard. 
This year, South Mountain is bringing in 18 new players. Johnson understands what he needs to bring to the table to improve from last year. I know I have to be more vocal, talk to them, help them out, tell them where they're messing up, and just be a coach on the court and just do as coach says. Coach Vo says that when the stakes are high, Johnson plays better. He adds that there is no one he wants leading the team more than Desmond Johnson. Who knows what this year's gonna bring us, you know, we'll bring in 13 new guys, you know, in uniform. No matter, you know, how good they were in high school, this is a big jump. Uh, to play college basketball, especially at the championship level that we want to play at. Um, but we want to roll it out with Desmond and, and, and uh, let him lead us. MCC football players made an impact both on and off the field. They went to a nearby elementary school to discuss the importance of an education. Cheers, clapping, and smiles. These children at Christman Elementary School in Mesa were starstruck when they saw athletes walking into their classroom. I was like, oh my gosh. Right? Like, this is my like first time just seeing like college football players. It was a very different and amazing experience. The Mesa Community College football team was given the opportunity to read and speak to grade school kids. They also danced. Hey, hey, okay, okay. I want to do this dance now. I really enjoyed the end where they had one of the football players do the dance juju on that beat. I mean, seeing kids smile, I mean, that's what we live for, right? That's where we play ball. While the kids were having fun, these college athletes learned that fun was not the only thing they took away from this experience. You gotta be a good role model. To continue being a part of student success, the most improved students at Christman will have the opportunity to win an MCC t-shirt. On the field, you, you practice hard to get in the game, and here you, you do good in the classroom, you get a reward, and that's pretty cool that that's going to be affiliated with us, with the football team. One kid is already on the right path, earning straight A's. He has dreams of going to ASU or UCLA. I just want to go there. Like I think I can make a difference when I get older. Coach Jacobson appreciated the aspiration and success of the children. He anticipates MCC's football team continuing to fulfill their role. Probably the most important thing is uh, we tell the kids, you know, champions act like champions before they become champions. And these guys today act like champions. We look at it as like, oh, we're just football players. But, you know, at the end of the day, we're a bigger pillar in our community. These athletes took time out of their day to stress the importance of education. Oh, it's everything. That's. The, I'll get you farthest in life. Well, I think it tells them that, uh, you know, once the whistle stops, these guys got to have a, something to fall back on for a job. And uh, I think that's uh, a, a big thing for these guys. They know that the football game's not going to be there forever. Mesa plans on making this a weekly part of the football team's regimen. Who likes reading? Me. Me. Next on Inside Maricopa Sports, GCC's baseball coach Dave Grant joins Kevin Huffnagel on Coach's Corner. Welcome to Coach's Corner. I'm Kevin Huffnagel here with Dave Grant, one of the deans of college baseball here in the Valley. And you've been here since the days of Brophy from the 1970s till today. 37 years. Right. I thought I started my coaching career at Brophy Prep in 1973. I was 23, pretty much fresh out of college. An opportunity arose that actually my high school coach had retired from coaching at the time. And there was an English teaching slot available. So I was able to slide right into that. Um, right after that, I went to Loyola Marymount. I was four years at Brophy Loyola High School for a year in Los Angeles, then Loyola Marymount. And then in 79, I came here to take the baseball coaching job. Throughout the years, how have the athletes changed? And how has baseball uh, uh, changed over the years? Well, I, I don't think that the athletes have really changed all that much. Um, uh, I think there always is maybe an increasing sense of entitlement that's a little different. Part of that is parental. Part of that is club baseball that where kids play so much where they're not really worried so much about winning and losing as a team they're more concerned about personal development but overall I, I honestly don't see that much change I think good kids are good kids and not so good kids are not so good kids that really hasn't changed very much but uh, the kids today are probably a little more sophisticated they're certainly more internet savvy they can find information that you're trying to provide for them they can find backup and that's always good they're probably a little more enlightened than maybe some of the older kids uh, the late great manager of the Yankees and A's, Billy Martin, uh, he once said, the real key to managing well is to treat all 25 players differently. Each has their own personality and their own motivation. Does that hold true to the college players here at GCC? 
I, I think so. It's obviously far easier said than done. But yeah, there are players here who appreciate when a coach maybe gets on them a little bit, and there are other players that don't like that at all, and they need to be more encouraged. Uh, so yeah, it's hard to find a balance. It's hard as a coach to always be yourself, but always be conscious of, of what the other players need and how they really need to be treated in order to be most successful. So Billy Martin was right in that sense, but uh, he was a little crazy himself sometimes too. So I don't know if I'd want to be treated like he treated some people. You're on the cusp of a thousand wins as a coach. Did you ever thought you would get here to just 11 more games uh, to reach that record? I can't say I ever thought about it till it got close to about 900 or so, uh, but that was never really a goal, I don't think. I think that uh, now it's nice, it's something significant as a tribute to longevity and obviously a fair amount of quality as well. Uh, but yeah, to have had the opportunity to be here for this long and to have coached this many players and to get to that thousand win mark, that's, that's a pretty good deal. You're a member of uh, several Hall of Fames. Elaborate how baseball has been good to you. Well, obviously, uh, the primary thing is that it's provided me with a job that I really, really like and that I really enjoy going to every day. And I've never, I mean, it's tough when you lose, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, every day to, to wake up and to be excited about the opportunity to practice or to compete or to, to be in that competitive arena is, is always really exciting. And yet, I'm not in an arena that's totally dependent on winning and losing either, which is great. So, I mean, if we have a bad season, I'm probably not going to lose my job unless I do something atrocious with the kids. But I'm teaching and I'm coaching, and so I have a great combination. I can be somewhat academic and somewhat athletic, all in the same job, all with the same pay. It's a great deal. Yeah. Grooming players, why is that important to you? Oh, I think that's probably my unwritten mission statement. I think that's our number one priority is to provide the players who come here with a, a positive quality environment, a positive facility, positive practice schedule, positive support, positive academic resources. I mean, that's kind of what we're all about, more so than winning and losing. It's early in the season, but how is GCC, how is the team shaping up so far, and what do you project uh, by the end of the season? It's always hard to project because within Maricopa, the teams are all so competitive and so similar, quite frankly. Uh, but this is from an attitude, work ethic, enjoyment, Cooperation standpoint, probably as good a group as we've had in a long time. There are very few, if any, kids out here who don't respect each other, treat each other right, listen to their coaches, want to learn, want to get better. So uh, we have very few egos here. We have guys that are really, really into team leadership and that sort of thing. So that's great. That's a tribute to our sophomores, frankly. This is your last season as a coach. What is uh, your legacy? I, I know for a fact that the that, that, that the great majority of the players who came here and played for us really enjoyed their time here, really appreciated what they learned, really appreciated their teammates, really appreciated the environment in which I and my coaches put them in. So I think that's the legacy that, that you know, I can, we can have an alumni game and have tremendous former, amount of former players who come back and want to see guys and want to see us and want to see how the program is doing. So that's, I think that's the legacy is that they've got a, a positive two years in their life that they'll never forget. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, this has uh, been uh, Dave Grant, uh, GCC baseball coach, stopping here at Coach's Corner. Join us on the next episode. I'm Kevin Huffangle for Coach's Corner. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Inside Maricopa Sports. For dates and times of our show, go to our website at maricopa.edu slash mctv. Check out our Facebook page for news and updates and visit our YouTube channel for all of MCTV's original programming. So for our entire Inside Maricopa Sports team, I'm Ashley Neville. We'll see you next time.